many Bothans died looking at these rosters. Greetings and hello there everyone, it's me, your Star Wars dad, Nooch Do Good, and I'm here once again with a Roster, Roster Mania, Mania, where we take a look at rosters that are crazy, interesting, fun. Any roster you find while running through the game and seeing what's out there, please post it in my Discord, just throw an ally code into my Roster Mania room. You can give a little description if you like. We're going to pull up rosters that are fun and interesting and just find out what's it. We're going to do a little sleuthing while we take a look at this rosters. Of course, I'm always in the top left for these videos to hide the names of the innocent. I won't mention that their ally codes are visible down below. And uh, for those just tuning in, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please throw a like on the video and make sure to subscribe. It makes Mrs. Nooch a happy camper. We want to keep Mrs. Nooch happy because when mama's happy, everybody's happy. Like and subscribe, everybody. All right. So this roster is 1.5 million. And I think I pinned it, so I actually put this one in there. I just think this is a classic example. Wow, 1.5 million. Look at how deep this is with a bunch of stuff that really isn't gonna mean Princess Leia here, 85. I mean, I guess you get that, for, she got C, they got CLS, but Biggs and Wedge, that's like old school stuff. Shore Trooper is, well that, no. Shore Trooper, right here is about where we get to the, the hyperdrive bundle stuff. So 800,000 of this is hyperdrive stuff, but just filling in with a seven star first order star. I think this guy is going for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, so that makes some sense. But Echo, Arc Trooper, we got Phoenix, we got a TIE Fighter pilot. We got a bunch of stuff mixed in here. Shock T's on the way. Kind of just some, some broad general farming. And, and the thing I found most interesting was I think what I'm looking at is there is no gear 12 gear. Savage Press has one piece of gear 12 gear. Nobody else, and Mace Windu, but nobody else is even in process to get to relic levels. And it's weird that you would spend this right side piece on Mace Windu, because I think you'd want to spend it on Darth Vader, Kylo Ren and Mask, maybe even Commander Luke, or just some of these characters for first for Spring Leader Kylo Ren. But yeah, this roster is struggling at the moment. I will say, good job on the mods. <clears throat> if you're gonna do mods on Vader, I like the crit damage, although with no speed on here, it's not super exciting. Hyperdrive Bundle always puts you in a challenging place for mods, but I just thought this is just kind of an aimless roster. I get that it's pushing forward for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Maybe they put these early pieces on and decided to stop. I do like Savage Opress with the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren rush. I just think that at 1.5 million, we should see so we should see a few relics on this roster that aren't here yet. And I think that's all I was really looking at in this one. This one's not super exciting. He's starting this one off with a little bit of a dud, and by the way, really behind on the houndstooth farm for sure how is uh, bosk looking too bosk is yeah get into that houndstooth farm my friend so a little behind on this one but there's our first roster there let's go take a look at our second one okay here we've got somebody in carbonite 2 in no guild now i believe this is an active roster because in in may this so a couple months ago this is posted and that's how far behind i am on roster manies I, I can do them weekly and never catch up but that's great keep the roster manies coming on the discord so this person is in no guild and they're in carbonite too and they were in grand arena here as recently as may so it seems like it's been an active roster recently but 2.7 million and a really really weird farming and <laughs> so really weird farming we've got phoenix we've got bad batch we've got darth maul and darth sidious this this to me looks like someone that loves the animated series of uh star wars so with brood alpha with the geos in there the geos are all relics so you got a bunch of or four relic geos you got a bad batch set you got the the uh phoenix relic um except for kanan yeah this this screams and all the characters at the top are characters that were you know kind of featured lightly or deeply in the clone wars series including darth maul or maul as the case may be that's what this screams to me this is somebody that just loves clone wars loves bad batch loves rebels and just wanted to farm exactly what they wanted to farm for for those for those shows let's see what the ships look like probably Nothing to get excited about. There's the Chimera over there. But yeah, nothing exciting on the ships. But yeah. Hey, man, sometimes you got to go out and farm what you want and not what everybody else tells you to farm. I give some kudos to this person for farming the things that they love. Although there's a reason you're in Carbonite too, and it's because of farming the things that 
you love. Let's take a look at another roster. All right, looking at our third roster today on Roster Mania. And uh, we got here Audacious Fuse the Guild. Okay, we got it. We got it. So where are we here? Five? Wow. 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 5.2 million galactic power and one relic character. There you go. This is the kind of sweet stuff that we are looking for on Roster Mania. This is the kind of, of roster. Everybody's level 85. Everybody's at least gear 7. This, I mean, we have got, we got a gear 8, gear 9, Gamorrean Guard, gear 8, Rose Tico. We are, we're, this, this roster, and I, by the way, <laughs> with all that mixed in there, <laughs> General Kenobi is the only character that's not at least gear 7. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to pick, <laughs> well, Range Trooper, I do get it. Range Trooper, Coruscant Unworld Police, Cup, Range Trooper, and General Kenobi are the only, well, okay, there's a few more. General Anakin, or Jedi Anakin, picking some really important characters to leave below gear 7. And filling all these gear, I mean, this is just, this is just a collector's dream. That's all this is. This is a person that's just collecting what they want. Of course, these are only ships they got. They don't have any characters to farm it with. This person's just collecting who they want to collect. I mean, look at the beauty of this ride. This is, and two Zetas on Vader and not Merciless Massacre. This person throws caution to the wind and says, I, I do what I want. Get out of my life. 5.2 million. 5.2 million. And one relic Ezra Bridger. Wow. I, there's not much else to say. We got Illuminar, Unduli, Omicron. I mean, these the, the Omicrons, I don't even care about the Omicrons at this point. I just never seen a 5 million account with only one relic. That that's impressive. That's actually impressive that you can get to that galactic power level and only have one relic character I, I you know what hats off to you hats off to you my friend if this is you uh you are truly a genius let's take a look at another one okay the comment here in my in my discord on this one is this type of people must be prohibited from playing galaxy of heroes i don't even know how he's able to be in bronzium and i'm already seeing i mean carbonite four well he's not in bronzium now my friend he's down in carbonite four or she as it's maybe uh this by, by the way the guild this the Salak Pit of Despair. This is the Pit of Despair. Yes, <laughs> uh, Say something in comments if you know what movie that's from. Again, the same thing except better. This is even more. Oh my goodness. This is even more either egregious or beautiful depending on your, from a certain point of view, depending on how you view things. The 5.2 million account with one relic character was amazing. 3.6 million with only four gear 12s is kind of amazing -er. And two Zetas on Luke Skywalker Farm Boy. Uh, one Zeta on Night Sister. I don't even know what the Zeta is. I, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you. I guess it's here. Uh, maybe it's this otherwise she has 100% offense. I don't know what the Zeta is. In fact, looking at this... And that's the only thing I can see that it would be is when she does not have full health, she has 100% offense. The Zeta on Night Sister Initiate is a thing of beauty. You don't get that every day, my friends. Look at this roster 3.6 million. 3.6 million. Four gear 12s. Everybody else is purple across the expanses of this roster. Just really impressive work today, folks. We are seeing some really, uh, these are just straight up, just straight up uh, farm what I want collector type rosters we're seeing today. There is there is nothing else going on today except for that two beautiful 5.2 million, 3.6 million rosters where they're just collecting what they want to collect. Congratulations, you guys. Let's go look at another one here. Okay, comment on this one. This guy loves his droids and has some weird Omicrons. The bite of 87, interesting. Maybe, oh, that is a lot of droids. Look at those droids. Look at those. Let's take a look at this roster here. Just straight droids across the top. Straight droids and all their Omicrons and all their Zetas. This person, I mean, Sorty is high on their list. <laughs> let's take a look at all the droids here. Let's let's go sort up the droids. Okay, working on IG-11, maybe working on some more droids along the way, but just decided that these random, this random droid, let me look at Sorty. I don't know what that Omicron is. I really don't. 
um, is the is the leadership ability for droid allies have 35% defense and 35 speed and gain spare parts. If all allies are droids, sortie gains 30% max health and 40 speed, plus 30% critical chance and 30% offense if they're defeated, they revive with 100% health. Oh my, nice. While in conquest. Really? There's a conquest? I didn't even know we had a con... I really didn't know we had a conquest Omicron. I... Don't we get enough stuff in conquest? The first time the first enemy to take a turn is defeated, there are other active enemies. All allies are revived with 60% health and gain damage immunity, instant defeat immunities, buffs can't... Interesting. I wonder if maybe the goal of this account... Maybe this is an alt account where somebody is really trying to push their way through conquest with one team or something? T3 and 4 is 100% defense penetration, droid allocate. While in territory wars, we're, uh, okay, so try just trying for a droid team in conquest and territory wars. I This is fun. I I think this team is a lot of fun to put together. I think the IG-88 Zeta, though, is a leadership Zeta, so I'm not sure why. <clears throat> I'm not sure why. I think it's the, I think it's the, um, maybe it's not a leadership Zeta. I don't know. I don't know what the Zeta is. Anyway, droid lovers unite. Hey, if you're a droid lover, let me know in the comments and make sure that you like and subscribe because you get to see cool stuff like, where else are you going to see rosters like this on YouTube? <laughs> All right. Hey, let's check out a couple more. All right, my Discord comment on this, kind of a weird roster. That's the whole comment. We got Ray on here. Ray! We got Ray on here. Oh, I've, I've seen this one. I've seen, I just did this. Okay, okay, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. This is Blingasm's roster. Uh, Blingasm is, uh, it goes by another name and now it's escaping me. Oh no, oh no. Blingasm was getting it to it. What, uh, hang on, I'm gonna go look it up. Okay, I found it. Blingasm is Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig has been, uh, I believe banned from Arnold's streams. <laughs> Peppa, <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig, we love you. This is awesome. Thanks for, for I, I'm so glad you did this. So I have seen this roster multiple times. And if you go back, I'm actually going to pin a video right now in here. I'm going to pin a video here to show you that I looked at this roster like six months ago. And all these Galactic Legends were gear 12. So Peppa Pig slash Bingasm has been slowly improving their Galactic Legends. But we have a Relic 2 Supreme Leader Kylo. Okay, got the ult. All right, yes, yes, yes. I, I'm forgetting the code. So, Relic 2 Kylo, Relic 2 Rey, Relic 1 Jedi Master Luke, not, uh, no ultimate yet for Jedi Master, for Relic 1 Jedi, and a gear 12. This was worse. And go take a look at that old video. Save it, and I'll put it at the end of this video as well. I, I think it's a... All right, we're back. Uh, Blue Stacks is driving me nuts. Anyway, um, it, it's it's a big improvement. I'm going to put the video at the end of this. At end of this. You can go watch it at the end. Anyway, congratulations, Peppa Pig, on slowly working on your Galactic Legends. I don't understand why they are the lowest. Uh, like, Grand Inquisitor is Relic 7. You don't... <laughs> there's no... You don't need Grand Inquisitor or Relic 7 for anything except a Grand an Inquisitor team. But, hey, man, whatever makes you happy, Peppa, congratulations on the roster. Okay, here's the final roster for today's version of a roster, roster Mania. Mania. And we look here. These uh, gear... All right, Carbonite 3. I'm already curious to see what's in here. And wow, this is five million. This tops off. I, you know, you know what? These videos just seem to work themselves. I literally don't plan this stuff. I literally don't. This is the coup de gras of t if that's the right phrase. This is the coup de gras of today's video, where we've seen multiple accounts at five million, three million, and again at five million, four point nine five five. That are just doing whatever they want to do and they don't care about relics this is almost five million we got one two three four five six gear 12s and that's it and that's it and by the way guys most of these rosters are being discovered in grand arena so these people are playing grand arena i am blown away here i'm blown away now let's take a look at the ships i mean <clears throat> ships are fine too i guess yeah, congrats, but <clears throat> I am just, I am, you know what, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody out there, if you're watching this, and you just farm what you want to farm, and you don't care about what's best in the game, uh, it's not my chosen path, I mean, some weird Zetas, all these Zetas at the top, um, I don't know about Omicrons here, but it, it really doesn't matter, it's like, 
You get these Zetas and Omicrons on, and it just it just doesn't really impact anything because you can't climb out of Carbonite with this. But hey, to all you guys who just just throw it to the wind and you say, I don't care, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do, and I don't care about any of you, congratulations on on being the person that you want to be. I sometimes wish I had your fortitude, although I'm pretty good. I like being competitive, so that's where I am in the game. But yeah, I guess today's theme is people farming what they want to farm and throwing throwing caution to the wind. They probably jump in on the game whenever they want. The game does not run their lives, but they farm the characters that they enjoy while playing. And look at this. There's like only three pieces. Look at this. Only three pieces of Gear 12 gear have been equipped on anybody. Wow. It's just amazing. Amazing. Well, there you go. There you go, everybody. There is today's version of a roster mania. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I got a couple of videos down there for you to watch. We'll talk to you soon. And of course, always remember, Nooch too good.